Welcome back to another episode of High Technology for a feature on exploring the life inside an amphibious assault ship worth billions of dollars and highlighting its unique capabilities in the ocean. Today we will dig into how these ships can carry so much lethality against shore targets all in one ship compared to other carrier groups. Air support on board an assault ship can go a lot of ways. If you are new to this channel, feel free to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll stay updated on any upcoming incredible content soon. Now, off to the ship we go! A key component of the nation's ability to project power anywhere in the world are amphibious assault ships. These massive floating giants must be able to sail into hostile waters and allow for the quick accumulation of combat on land in the event of conflict. Due to the constrained environment an amphibious vessel operates in, living there can be demanding and monotonous. Depending on their tasks, the crew's typical workday can last up to 12 hours. About 1,000 crew members and 1,600 embarked soldiers can be accommodated on the WASP-class ship's 24,000 square feet modern electronics, as well as the whole range of Navy and Maritime heavy equipment and weapons for defense. Following the morning brief, training continues throughout the day with the crew participating in meetings, lectures, spot inspections, and other regular tasks. Despite the demanding labor, sailors find time to exercise throughout the day because of the onboard gyms. They wait in line on the mess decks for their punctual meals, anticipating the tasty but healthy dishes that have been painstakingly prepared for them. A modern multimedia resource center, arcade games, and satellite TV are among the options for amusement. Sailors are supplied with small semi-private spaces so they may enjoy a decent night's sleep. Additionally, the ship includes a grocery store on board to provide the crew with daily necessities. These ships carry a variety of weaponry that are safely held in the ship's armories to support operations ashore, including assault and sniper rifles and grenade launchers. These rooms are crammed with firearms of all varieties kept under strict inventory control. To support the amphibious assault mission, WASP-class ships transport and land a variety of supplies including soldiers, vehicles, artillery, and ammunition. Marines are transported from ship to shore using amphibious assault vehicles or AAVs, which may go up to 200 miles in land while providing ammunition and supplies for the troops. In order to facilitate the launching and retrieval of amphibious landing craft, modern warships are equipped with an improved well deck located at the back that is periodically filled with water. The well deck of ships in the amphibious fleet can hold up to 52 vehicles depending on the class. AAVs have a top speed of 30 miles per hour on water and can transport 21 combat ready marines or 10,000 pounds of cargo. This wheel drive can traverse rugged terrain at speeds of up to 45 miles per hour on land, enhancing the safety of ship-to-shore operations and enhancing their capacity to reach promptly to global threats in challenging maritime environments. Training from ship-to-shore is done by marines. The divers carry out many maneuvers and other aquatic operations while in the water. Driving the AAV into the amphibious assault ship's flooded well deck marks the completion of the exercise. The 13,000 square foot well deck of a wasp class ship for example can accommodate two landing craft or three fully laden ICAC hovercraft in addition to the AAVs. Huge gates in the ship's stern allow monorail trains to go at up to 600 feet per minute while carrying cargo and supplies from staging and storage rooms into the main deck that opens to the sea. At that location vehicles, troops, and cargo are loaded onto landing craft for the trip to the beach. A massive flight deck with room for 30 or more aircraft and more than 200 sailors and marines serves as another launch platform for an amphibious assault ship. The flight deck is set up for aircraft launch, landing, and stowing with more than 2 acres of space. The flying operations are a difficult undertaking because of the whirling helicopter rotor blades, the scorching jet exhaust, and ground support equipment for the aircraft safety. The highly skilled individuals that make up to the flight deck crew carry out a variety of 
critical task in the dynamic, well-coordinated flow of flight operations. During aircraft launch and recovery operations, each person is identified by a color-coded jersey that designates a specific duty and designated location. A mix of helicopters and aircraft with short takeoff and vertical landing capabilities such the F-35B Joint Strike Fighter or the McDonnell Douglas AV-8B Harrier II can be carried by an amphibious assault ship depending on the mission of course. These aircraft are kept in the hangar bay area chained to the flight elevator while not in use. If maintenance is necessary, a tow truck is fastened to the aircraft's nose gear when the chains are released. The aircraft is transported from the lift into the hangar bay area by the tow vehicle. Throughout the entire operation, a member of the maintenance team is in the cockpit of the plane. The tow truck is then unhooked from the aircraft's nose gear once it has been positioned within the hangar bay and is chained back down to the deck. Aside from the Stovall planes, the amphibious assault ships also fly a variety of helicopters such as MV-20. 22 Osprey VTOL tilt rotors, CH-53 Stallion, UH-1Y Huey, AH-1Z Super Cobra, and the MH-60 Seahawk. Some of these flying marvels are of great use when it comes to the missions and exercises of the Marine Corps. For instance, fast roping is one of the most common infiltration methods used by the Marines to insert troops at a given location from the air. It uses a very quick thick rope attached to a bar on the fuselage of an aircraft. A sandbag on the end of the rope helps hold it in place on the ground keeping the rope from getting tangled. Then special operators wearing thick heat resistant gloves mount the rope and slide to the ground. During fast rope insertion, special operators aren't hooked up to the rope. This exercise is very risky because their only form of security is their grasp with their hands and feet. The cornerstone of the US Navy's current amphibious assault ship fleet along with its soldiers projects tremendous might and sustains presence. Well, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can always get to watch more incredible videos like this. This has been High Technology serving you the best and cutting edge contents on the highest form of technology available on the planet. Fair winds and following seas, we'll see you on the next one.